Hey guys, it's your girl Sheena with She Is Fab and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sheena and she does all the things. If you are an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, you know how we do. Happy surgery day. I'm up. It is very, very early. Excuse these nails. Y'all know I had to take this nail off for my tummy tuck this morning. So I'm up. I've showered in um, the soap that they provided. No lotions, no perfumes, no oils. Um, I did put on a little bit of deodorant. They said that that was fine. So um, my sister will be here in a little bit to pick me up and to drop me off. Um, no one can wait in the surgery center. They just have to drop you off. And then while I'm in recovery, um, once I'm ready to go home, then they will um, call my sister to come back and pick me up. So, um, I have not eaten since yesterday because I was not supposed to eat. I have put a little bit of oil on my lips, guys. And I'm just shining, 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 shining. Yeah. Um, but uh, I have my bag packed. I have to take my abdominal binder to the surgery center. Um, I have to, or they're going to put me in a faha after the procedure. So, um, yeah, I'm just really just picking up last minute things around my house because I can't do any bending. Um, once, um, my procedure is done, I don't know how long that'll be, but, um, they give me about an abdominal board, um, to help with compression, mm -mm, excuse me, and to also prevent me from bending. So, um, I am going to wear my Skims dress. Um, let me turn it around for you guys. So I do have my Skims dress on. I have on a lace bra. Um, because I am going to have a faja on. So I'm going to just be able to pull this dress on over the faja dress. I mean, over the faja. And it's in black. So um, I don't think I will have any bleeding. Um, my incision, of course, will be... Um, closed and they are going to do a little bit of liposuction in my back so if i do bleed it will be from that air those areas but i'm sure they'll have pad padding there and then once i get home i can just throw on a t-shirt and probably some biker shorts but yeah so this is what i'm wearing all right guys so i'm not nervous <laughs> i probably will get nervous once i get there but i know that i'm covered in prayer so many of you sent me prayers yesterday and i really do appreciate it um this is something that god said that i was ready to do so i know i'm going to be fine but again thank you for all of the love and the prayers and the support and yeah guys i'm just waiting on my sister and once i have something to report to you guys i'll be back bye Okay guys, so I just took a pregnancy test and a drug test. Of course, they're both going to be negative. So I'm just waiting for um, my doctor to come in. He's going to make his markings and we're going to talk about the procedure. And then I will be headed to surgery. See you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, <clears throat> I made it home. Um, they did not put the faja on. I have my abdominal binder on. I have two drinks, one and two. And I just stopped and got something to eat. I am about to um, eat something that's cooking at the door. I'm about to eat um, some of my food. I just got Chick-fil-A. Um, I'm going to make a grocery order for later. My sister will pick it up for me. I'm just going to be eating like salmon. I'm going to get some water, of course, probably some vegetables. I'm still going to stay on my, <clears throat> you know, weight loss journey. Um, eat really, really healthy. I don't want to lose any more weight. I want to maintain and I want to build muscle. But of course, that's later on down the line, I'm not even thinking about <laughs> the gym or any kind of exercise. I am about to work out. I mean, I'm about to sleep. 
the nurse told me I was snatched, honey. She, she When I woke up, she said, welcome to the snatch side, sis. So I'm extremely excited to see my belly, but of course I'm not removing anything today. I have a doctor's appointment first thing in the morning, um, my first pop post-op appointment. So, but yeah, guys, I am home. It's time to recover. Thank you for all of your prayers. I really, really appreciate them so, so much. And y'all see Big Fiddle over there leaning, <clears throat> and she's just leaning because the, she's pulling towards the sun. So I'm going to rotate her um, once I get in the bed. And uh, yeah, I will check in with y'all later. Bye. Okay, guys, I just woke up from a nap. I slept so good. Baby, those narcos, listen. <laughs> and when I tell you, y'all, okay, so if you don't like blood, please fast forward through this part. Um, I did get some lipo on my flanks, so that is where the blood is from. My incision is not bleeding, and I have two drains here. Um, there is a little bit of um, blood coming from this drain, but I did go ahead and cover it with some gauze. So, again, if you don't like blood, guys, um, go ahead and... Um, slide through this part or fast forward through this part but um i went ahead and took my dress off y'all when i tell you <laughs> my stomach is on flat to the flat 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 okay i can i have no stomach even this might be tmi even my lady pond is pulled up and snatched <laughs> yo <laughs> I cannot wait to see what I look like under here, but of course, I'm not going to remove it. I do have a post-op appointment um, in the morning. I just did a curbside pickup. My sister's going to pick my groceries up for me. Again, I'm only eating like fish and soup. Um, I'm eating very, very lightly. I did have some Chick-fil-A this morning and I nibbled on it only so I could take my pain meds. And so I got up to go to the restroom. And this joker right here ate my food. <laughs> so I didn't need it anyway. But yeah, Cookie ate my Chick-fil-A. She is so bad, y'all. I, I don't know why y'all think she's good, but she ain't. But anyway, I'm just checking in. I'm going to cover this up. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just checking in. I'm doing extremely well. The Narcos guys were so good. And they even gave me excuse me some diazepam i start my antibiotics tomorrow so yeah i'm just watching some murder mysteries uh, i need to watch um uh love and marriage huntsville because i missed it on saturday like this is going to be the best part of my recovery is like staying home not doing nothing okay nothing i'm not doing nothing until next week i'm going to be in the bed recovering chilling and then i think i can move around a little bit more y'all i'm so tight right here let me hunch over because they told me to hunch over and again i didn't really think that i would need oh my god i'm and i'm still very numb right here so let me not stand straight up because i feel like i can but they told me not to so but anyway guys just checking in um i do want to document this for myself and for you guys. So, all right, I will check back in later. Bye. <clears throat> okay, my hair is all over my head, but just wanted to show you guys my little setup. I am sitting up on a lot of pillows. Um, I cannot lay on my stomach. Um, it's best to sleep in a recliner if you have one, but I was not buying a recliner for this procedure. So I'm propped up in bed. I have pillows down here for my feet. I'm very comfortable. Um, just waiting on my sister to uh, bring my groceries. My son is here helping me, by the way. I'm not by myself. I just made me some, I'm going to make me some iced coffee um, and just catch up on my shows. All right. Bye, y'all. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end um, today's um, <clears throat> vlog today. Um, I actually had a really really good day i know i look a hot mess i promise i will look like something tomorrow <laughs> um i gotta go to the doctor um i have a pre-op appointment i mean i'm sorry a post-op appointment tomorrow at 7 30. um so i'm about to eat dinner um sean sent me dinner y'all he sent me some saw grass so
Hey guys, happy Thursday. So I am going to my um, first post op appointment um, in massage. I just have on um, some like the jogging pants, I guess, and a bodysuit, but I didn't snap it. Um, I looked at my stomach yesterday, and y'all, I am snatched to the quads to the gods so okay guys so I'm back from my first post-op visit and massage um, I am worn out when I tell you <clears throat> I was in that doctor's office or surgical center for two hours I am extremely tired <laughs> um, they told me that I could shower which I'm gonna do later I'm about to get out of these clothes eat i was gonna come home and make me some eggs but honey we stopped and got chick-fil-a i'm about to take my eat my chick-fil-a take my antibiotics take my pain medication and go to sleep um but everything went well y'all i am extremely pleased already with my results i will pop in a little picture because i did remove my binder last night just because i was so curious um, in the picture, my belly button will be covered, but they removed the bandage from my belly button. And when I tell y'all, my doctor did a fantastic job. And this is not even like my full results. Um, I do have to keep my bandage on until next week. Um, keep my surgical bandage on, but he told me I can shower. And then I need to blow dry it with the, with the hair dryer, with the um, blow dryer and blow dry my belly button until it's dry. And so since I have to do all of that in order to shower, I'm just gonna wait until later because I am really, really tired. I've been sitting up. Um, of course, you can't lay down. You can lay down once you get to the back to see the doctor, but the table is flat. There were no pillows. I wasn't even gonna try it. Um, the massage was very, very nice. It was like maybe 15, 20 minute massage. Um, I will not be uh, in a faha until after my drains are removed, which could be up to 14 days. And I'm a little disappointed in that because I don't really think I needed to buy um, a stage one faha because I feel like the faha that they fitted me for already is, uh, the, the, that they fitted me for is already too big. So in two weeks, I know it's gonna be really big. So I kind of just feel like I've wasted 120 bucks, but I'm not tripping y'all. I'm not tripping at all. I will do whatever those people tell me to do. Okay. Um, what else? That's really it, guys. Uh, I have to continue to wear my Ted hose. Um, I need to continue walking um, every hour and a half to two hours just to keep the blood flow going. But so far, my recovery is good. Y'all, I'm not even in, in any pain. And they were so shocked. I did not get the Expirel shot. Um for one, I have a very high pain tolerance. And for two, the narcos are just doing it for me. Um, I didn't really get a lot of sleep last night. And um, I did not know that narco 10, narco 10 325 can cause insomnia. So tonight I will definitely take my diazepam so that I can um, get some rest. But right now I'm not hurting, but I'm just tired. Like I haven't I feel like I feel like I did a lot because I was there for two hours. I couldn't lay, <clears throat> excuse me, I couldn't lay down because I was sitting up for the entire time. So, but anyway, guys, um, and I'm gonna wear a dress <laughs> next time. I don't know what I was thinking by putting on these pants, but let me go ahead and show you how snatched I'm already looking. Okay. All right, guys. So these pants I got a long time ago. Um, I think I got these from. I can't even remember the place I got them from, but they are old. This bodysuit is by H&M. It is too big. So um, I was on the J-Lux label last night shopping. Y'all, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna need a whole new wardrobe. That part I'm not mad about, cause y'all know I do love to shop, but y'all, I am snatched, okay? Snatched. <laughs> All right, guys, let me get out of these clothes and uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys an update before I put my compression wrap back on. Um, let me see if I can zoom in without showing too much. So remember, I have a birthmark here. 
So my birthmark is now going into my belly button. And it was so funny because the doctor was really apologizing that he had to move my birthmark. But I'm like, I look good. I, I, I have no complaints, doc. So these are now connected and my belly button actually looks really, really good. I'm really impressed. Um, again, my tummy is swollen. It is pulled down. This is my um, surgical dressing, which I cannot remove or they, were, they, were, they will remove it, I think, on Monday. But guys, overall, I am super duper happy with my results so far. My stomach is very flat, but I'm still very, very swollen, guys. So... Um, still got a lot of recovering to do, but, um, a lot of you have inboxed me and said that, you know, you guys want to get a tummy tuck done and I say, go for it, ladies. It, so far it has been one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, I, I feel really, really excited about <laughs> my, um, uh, results. So, but yeah, I'm about to, um, take some pain medication and lay down. I am um, currently blow drying my um, dressing to make sure that it's dry before I put my wrap on. So yeah, but overall, I'm very, very happy. Hey guys, happy Friday. So I'm here for my um, second post-op massage. This is post-op day two. I have my surgery on Wednesday. Today's Friday. I feel so, so good, guys. Um, pain is very, very minimal. Um, I'm probably like at a two, and that's only because I have to sit up um, in the chair here until they call me to the back. Um, still wear my TED hose. Um, the nurse told me that I have to wear these at least for 10 days. Um, still wear my compression um Faha or my compression garment still have my drains they said that the drains will probably be in um, maybe 10 to 14 days we'll see but so far I am recovering very very well um, I did show you guys a little bit of a belly shot yesterday um, looks the same my belly button actually looks amazing <laughs> he did a really really good job so but I'm about to get undressed for my massage and then I'm gonna go to Salada. Um, my appetite is picking back up. Um, I do like take a few bites and I get full, but I'm feeling like I can eat a little bit more and more. Um, so I will stop at Salada today um, and get me a nice big salad before I head home. And then I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so um, it's much later in the day. Um, I ended up being <laughs> out in the streets longer than I had anticipated. Um, I did a few things with my oldest daughter. Um, it's her birthday this weekend. Um, she was my Mother's Day gift 23 years ago. So she will be turning 23 on Sunday. So she had a few things that she wanted to take care of. So when I got home, um, I took my pain medication and my antibiotics and I just rested. Um, so now I'm about to eat me some um, some ramen. I've been craving some ramen, so that's what I'm going to have. <laughs> Funny thing, right? I had sushi earlier. I didn't end up going to Salada. Um, I just got me some. We went to um, Sprouts and got us some sushi. But um, but anyway, guys, um, today is post-op day three, right? No. Wednesday was surgery. Post-op day two. <laughs> um, I'm doing really well very very minimum minimum pain i do every now and again get a burning sensation in my incision um, i still have my original surgical dressing on they're going to take that off on monday my doctor's appointment on monday is at 10 30 a.m so i'm super excited to see what my incision looks like um i'm not gonna lie the the tape on my incision is super duper tight um, i'm still very numb down there um, still kind of numb in my tummy. And then I'm also still kind of numb on, um, this side where my drain is. So, um, yeah. All right. So, um, that's really all that went on today. Um, I don't know where I left off. I got a phone call. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, um, I'm excited to see what my incision looks like on Monday. The only pain that I'm having is 
I get like a burning sensation in my incision. And then sometimes I, I get like in an uncomfortable position in the bed and then I'm like trying to get out of that position and, but I did not need a walker. Um, there were a couple of times where I laughed or I had to cough and my stomach was like, I felt like someone punched me in the stomach, but overall my pain has been very minimum, very minimum. I think the highest my pain has been is maybe like a two or a three. I'm just being honest. That's that's my experience. Um, a lot of you have DM'd me on Instagram saying that you want to do it and you're just going to, you know, see how my journey goes. I say go for it. Um, so far, it has been um, one of the best decisions um, that I've made. My stomach looks amazing. Um, I already didn't have a whole lot of stretch marks, so I'm really I really want to see if I have any stretch marks because my stretch marks were really at the lower portion of my stomach and I know he had to remove all of that so I may come out of this with a um stretch mark free stomach like y'all I'm on cloud nine I'm not even gonna lie so but anyway um I'm about to find something to watch on tv and just chill on this good Friday night and I will check back in with you guys on Saturday. Bye. Happy Saturday, guys. So um, currently I'm at Sean's house. Um, he just left to get us some dinner. Um, my recovery is still going very, very good, guys. Um, I don't have any complaints. I'm still taking my antibiotics and then I'm taking pain medication every um I would say five to six hours um I did not have to take any Valium last night to sleep because um <clears throat> for the first couple of days the narcos were giving me insomnia but last night I slept really really good um still kind of um well not kind of it is still very uncomfortable and a challenge to sleep on my back, but hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. The only difference that I've noticed now is that I'm I'm starting to have more of a burning sensation um, um, in my incision, which I think is totally normal. Um, there's no, it's not bleeding, um, doesn't look infected or anything like that. Um, I have, I had surgery and I've been cut. So the burning sensation is definitely to, um, very, very normal. Um, I did take a, a small peek at my incision, and from what I can see, it looks really, really good. Um, I do have my dressing removed on Monday. Um, my drains are draining a lot less, so hopefully within <clears throat> another week or so, I can have those removed um, because they did tell me that the drains can stay in up to 14 days. Um, and that's it guys. I've just been taking it really easy. Um, I didn't do much of anything. Sean won't let me do anything. Um, he's been taking really good care of me. Um, right now I'm just watching YouTube, waiting on him to get back with some dinner. Um, I have still been up moving around, walking. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pop in. Um, this is post-op day three. Um, everything is going fantastic. So, um, I will give you guys another peek at my incision or at my tummy once the dressing is removed on Monday. So, yeah, um, I'll pop back in tomorrow for self-care Sunday and Mother's Day. But, um, as of right now, guys, nothing to report. Everything is going fantastic. I'm staying hydrated. Um, I wish I could have a glass of wine, but I am on antibiotics. So, uh, I will need to complete those um first before i have any wine but i cannot wait to have a glass of cab i cannot wait to have a glass of cabernet okay i'm probably gonna have a glass with y'all okay <laughs> on youtube but anyway guys that is it um i'm not gonna come back on today because i'm just really relaxing and chilling and just enjoying um you know being here with sean and it's peaceful <laughs> peaceful mother's day weekend 
Um, so yeah, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, Cat Eye Gucci. I like these, but no. All right, guys, so I'm here to get my dressing removed and another massage. My dress is from H&M. I got it on yesterday. Um, very, very cute and comfortable. Still kind of, you know, these are my drains, so it's why it's looking a little bulky on the side, but highly, highly recommend this dress. Um, the straps do come off. I went ahead and put the straps on because I don't have a bra on, <laughs> but yeah, I love this dress. So we are getting ready to see what our incision looks like. All right, I'll give you guys a picture real soon. Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, so I'm back from my final post-op visit. Um, they removed my surg surgical dressing today and y'all, I look good. I look good. I look snatched. I feel good. Um, my incision, I'm going to put, I'm going to put in, um, some video, but my incision is a little bit dark, but I mean, I just had surgery five days ago so this is post-op day four um what was it four let me see thursday friday saturday sunday monday post-op day five i'm sorry today's post-op day five and i look and i feel so good y'all i am so snatched i'm so pleased with my results now one thing i didn't really realize was is that i have a really short torso so um he he didn't go down um as low with my incision because I have a short torso, but that does not change any of um, the results. It's not gonna change how good I'm gonna look, um, or how good I look now, or how good I'm gonna look um, in the future once I heal up. I'm so super pleased. I'm, this is the best money I've ever spent, y'all. I'm so happy. Um, now, the only thing giving me trouble is my drain on the left side, um, that drain is really, really uncomfortable, um, but I do need to keep the drains in probably um, until next week or until they have very little output in them. So it's just something that I'm dealing with. I do feel like I'm super swollen on that side, but maybe because the drain has been pulled on and tugged on, I mean, it's just very, very uncomfortable. Um, the nurse told me today that um, everything looks good continue my antibiotics, make sure I'm drinking my water. Um, she said that I can definitely start walking um, as, as soon as I'm ready. Of course, no exercise. She told me no exercise for about six to eight weeks. And then she also told me since I was lifting heavy weights that I could not go back into the gym doing rigorous um, workouts right away that I needed to really start from scratch, which is fine with me so my plan is just to walk i'm just gonna have to walk um to keep my weight down um she told me that this is not the right time for me to be dieting that i should be i should be eating of course watching what i eat but at the same time making sure that i get in pretty plenty of protein and that i'm getting in my um lots of water and fluid um liquids which i'm doing um but overall, guys, everything went so, I mean, I'm so super duper happy that I made this decision. I thank God that I came out um, with no complications so far, and I don't plan to have any. Um, I know yesterday was Mother's Day, and I hope all of you ladies out there that are moms um, had a, fa a fabulous Mother's Day. Um, Sean made my Mother's Day so beautiful. I'm so thankful for him. Um, I had a great time, as y'all could see. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know, honey, we was in the streets, um, and I kind of paid for it today because I was really, really tired. Um, but it's okay. Um, uh, I feel good. I feel good. I feel blessed. Um, <clears throat> now, for those of you who are not familiar with a tummy tuck, what happens is, is that they sewed up my um, abdominal muscles is causing abdominal plasty. And y'all, even though I've not, I have not been having incisional pain, child, when I try to cough or sneeze, I feel like someone is just kicking me in the stomach. Like it is so, so painful. So I'll be glad when that goes away. But other than that, I don't have any pain. 
Um, and a tummy tuck is one of those things where your results come in over time. Um, it's um, Even though, as you guys can see in the videos, I'm looking good. I'm looking snatched, but I still have a lot of swelling. I have a lot of fluid. I got to make sure that I'm continuing my massages. And um, the results will enhance over time. Now, one thing the nurse did tell me, and she said she wished someone had told her, is that I should not be waist training for at least six months because my my waist training and my molding is going to be done with my faha. So she said what happens is you wear that waist trainer and it bunches you up in the back, and she said it molds you just all wrong. So she told me, do not put on a waist trainer. So this is coming from my doctor and my um, my nurse, and I'm going to follow what they said. So I will not be waist training. Um, I will be a faha wearing, you know what. So, um, so after my drains come out next week, I will wear my stage one faha for three weeks. And then on the fourth week, I go into my stage two. I will stay in a stage two for six months. So, um, as bad as I wanted to be out here running around in bikinis, which I'll probably put a swimsuit on here and there, but she said, for the most part, I need to be in my faha. So, um, that is what your girl is going to be doing. So lots of dresses this summer. I know Houston gets extremely hot, but listen, y'all, I ain't pay all this money to not reap one, the, um, the ultimate outcome. And the ultimate outcome is to just to be snatched okay so snatched so but yeah guys that's all i can really think of right now um i will continue to vlog my post-op recovery so this will be post-op kind of like week one um days one through five um and then um, we will continue vlogging and i will continue self-care sunday this coming sunday um for you guys but yeah, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the description. Um, I hope I'm not leaving anything um, out. Like I said, I don't go back to the doctor until next week to get my drains. And then I also, then I have a one month post-op visit um, and that's in June. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to rest up. Um, I have some cheesecake over here from yesterday that I'm going to eat on. Um, Cookie running around here somewhere, child. Cookie! She's just living her best life over here. And, um, yeah, guys, if you like my content, um, I hope you will consider subscribing. Um, if you were an oldie but a goodie, girl, you know I love you. I thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this, um, tummy tuck journey. There's so much more to come. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down in the, the in the uh, comment section and uh, I'll get back with you guys. Bye.